ever caught yourself delaying tasks until the last possible minute? It's a question that resonates with many of us, a behavior that we often engage in without realizing its profound impact on our lives. Welcome everyone to Minecrafters, where today we're diving deep into a pervasive issue that affects millions worldwide, procrastination. Our journey today will take us through the labyrinth of procrastination, untangling its complex web. We'll begin by understanding what procrastination truly is, peering into its psychological aspects, and uncovering the root causes that often keep us stuck in a seemingly never-ending cycle of delay. We'll also explore the impact of procrastination on our personal and professional lives, and how it can inadvertently contribute to a decline in mental health, work performance, and personal relationships. But don't fret, we're not here to just highlight the problem, we're here to provide solutions. So stick around as we delve into practical strategies to overcome procrastination for good. Stay tuned to find out how to tackle this common enemy procrastination. Procrastination is not just about laziness, it's more complex and deeply rooted in our psychology. It's like a fog that blankets our minds, blurring our vision of what needs to be done. But what's really underneath this fog? Well, there are several psychological aspects at play. One of them is the fear of failure. This fear can be so paralyzing that we choose not to act at all, rather than risk making a mistake or falling short of our own or others' expectations. Another root cause is the feeling of being overwhelmed. When faced with a large task or project, we might feel like we're standing at the foot of a mountain, unsure of how to start climbing. This can lead us to delay the task, hoping it will become more manageable over time. Then there's perfectionism, the relentless pursuit of flawlessness. Perfectionists often procrastinate because they fear they won't be able to achieve the high standards they set for themselves. These factors can create a self-feeding negative loop. The more we procrastinate, the more these feelings intensify, leading to even more procrastination. It's like being stuck in quicksand. The more you struggle, the deeper you sink. But there's good news. Once we understand these underlying causes, we can start to tackle them head on. Understanding the root cause is the first step to overcoming procrastination. Procrastination can have far-reaching impacts on various aspects of our lives. It's like a silent thief, robbing us of our most precious commodity. Time and its effects can be seen in our personal and professional lives. In the professional realm, procrastination can be a career killer. It hampers productivity, leads to missed deadlines, and can tarnish our reputation as reliable and competent individuals. Imagine being known as the office laggard, always playing catch-up, it's not a title anyone aspires to, is it? Then there's the impact on our personal lives. It chips away at our personal relationships, creating a ripple effect of frustration, disappointment, and sometimes resentment. Loved ones waiting for us to show up, promises unfulfilled, chores left undone, all because we said, I'll do it later. But it's not just about missed deadlines and disappointed friends. The impact of procrastination seeps deeper, affecting our mental health. The stress of pending tasks, the guilt of time wasted, the anxiety of looming deadlines, these emotions can create a mental whirlwind that's hard to escape. It's a self-perpetuating cycle. Procrastination leads to stress, which leads to more procrastination. Let's not forget the impact on our self-esteem and self-confidence. Every time we put off a task, we're essentially telling ourselves that we're not capable of doing it now. And over time, this can lead to a deep-seated belief that we're not good enough, that we're not capable. Consider this, a student who constantly puts off studying. Over time, they might start to believe that they're just not cut out for learning, that they're not smart enough. But in reality, it's not their intelligence that's at fault, it's their habit of procrastination. So, you see, the effects of procrastination are not just immediate, but can also have long-term consequences. It's not a harmless habit that we can afford to ignore. It's a silent foe, chipping away at our potential, our relationships, and our mental health. And that's why it's so important to tackle it head on. Breaking the cycle of procrastination requires deliberate and consistent effort. It's akin to untangling a knot. It may take time, but with patience and perseverance, the knot loosens and you're free from the grip of procrastination. First and foremost, identifying triggers is crucial. Triggers are those sneaky little things that coax you into procrastination. They could be as simple as a distracting environment or as complex as an underlying fear of failure. Become aware of these triggers and you've taken your first step towards breaking the procrastination cycle. Next, setting realistic goals can act as a roadmap guiding you towards productivity. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will your perfect schedule. 
start with small achievable tasks and gradually move towards larger goals. This approach not only boosts your confidence, but also provides a sense of accomplishment, nudging you away from the procrastination pitfall. Additionally, creating a conducive environment for productivity is paramount. An environment that encourages focus and minimizes distractions can be a catalyst in your journey to overcome procrastination. Think of it as designing a workspace that promotes action, where each element subtly whispers, let's get things done. Alongside these strategies, it's important to cultivate resilience. There will be days when the old habits creep in, attempting to pull you back into the procrastination vortex. But remember, setbacks are not the end of the road, they're merely detours. Use them as learning experiences, adjust your strategies, and keep moving forward. Finally, celebrate your victories, no matter how small. Each task completed, each project initiated, and each deadline met is a step away from procrastination. So pat yourself on the back, relish the progress, and let the momentum carry you forward. With the right approach, breaking free from the grip of procrastination is absolutely possible. It's a journey of self-discovery, resilience, and determination. And remember, every journey begins with a single step. So take that step today and watch the chains of procrastination shatter. Let's delve into some practical, actionable tips to beat procrastination. One of the most effective ways to manage your time better is by employing a method called the Pomodoro Technique. This technique involves breaking down your work into intervals, traditionally 25 minutes, separated by five-minute breaks. These intervals are known as Pomodoros, the plural in English of the Italian word for tomatoes, a nod to the tomato-shaped kitchen timer that was originally used. The idea here is to focus on one task for the duration of one pomodoro, then reward yourself with a short break. After completing four pomodoros, take a longer break of about 15 to 20 minutes. This method can help increase your focus and productivity while also ensuring you get the necessary breaks to avoid burnout. Another important strategy is learning to prioritize tasks. Not all tasks are created equal and it's essential to identify which ones are most important or urgent. A tool you can use for this is the Eisenhower Box, a simple decision-making tool that helps you categorize tasks into four quadrants based on their urgency and importance. This can help you decide whether you need to do a task now, schedule it for later, delegate it, or discard it completely. Finally, never underestimate the importance of taking breaks. While it might seem counterintuitive, Taking regular breaks can actually improve your productivity. These breaks give your brain a chance to rest and recharge, which can help maintain your focus and energy levels when you return to your task. Try incorporating these strategies into your daily routine, and you might be surprised at how much more you can accomplish. It's not about working harder, but about working smarter. And remember, the key is consistency. These techniques won't magically eliminate procrastination overnight, but with regular practice, they can help you form healthier work habits and improve your productivity over time. Remember, these are tools that you can start using right now to combat procrastination. Overcoming procrastination also requires a shift in mindset. It's not just about tactics and techniques, it's about how you perceive yourself and your tasks. One powerful tool in this regard is positive thinking. Rather than focusing on the enormity of the task or the fear of failure, positive thinking encourages us to focus on our abilities and the benefits of completing the task. It's about saying, I can do this instead of, this is too hard. Another crucial mindset shift is self-compassion. It's easy to beat ourselves up when we procrastinate, but this negative self-talk only feeds into the cycle of delay. Instead, try treating yourself with kindness and understanding. Acknowledge that everyone struggles with procrastination at times and it's okay to have off days. Lastly, adopting a growth mindset can be a game changer. This means viewing challenges as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles. With a growth mindset, we realize that our abilities are not fixed and can be developed with effort and persistence. So even if we struggle with procrastination now, we can improve over time. These mindset shifts are not just theoretical concepts. Numerous scientific studies support their effectiveness. For example, research in positive psychology has shown that positive thinking and self-compassion can significantly reduce procrastination. Similarly, studies in educational psychology have demonstrated that students with a growth mindset are less likely to procrastinate. In conclusion, a change in mindset can make a world of difference in overcoming procrastination. Scene script. 
Once you start making progress, it's important to maintain momentum. It's like riding a bicycle. Once you're moving, it's easier to keep going. That's the power of momentum. Establishing a routine is paramount. A well-structured routine serves as a roadmap for your day, helping you to distribute your energy wisely and prioritize tasks effectively. Next, practice continuous self-reflection. This isn't about being overly critical or harsh with yourself. Rather, it's about understanding your patterns, identifying your triggers, and celebrating your victories, no matter how small. Lastly, don't hesitate to seek support when you need it. We all have moments of weakness and times when we need a little help from our friends. Surround yourself with people who inspire and motivate you. Remember, consistency is key when it comes to beating procrastination. It's not about being perfect, it's about making progress, one step at a time. Procrastination is a common struggle, but it's not insurmountable. We've explored the depths of this habit, understanding its roots and the impact it has on our lives. We've also discovered practical tips and mental shifts that can help us break free from this cycle. Remember, the key to overcoming procrastination lies in identifying your triggers, setting realistic goals, and creating an environment that fosters productivity. Utilize time management techniques like the Pomodoro Method, prioritize tasks, and don't forget the importance of taking breaks. Embrace the power of positive thinking, self-compassion, and a growth mindset. These mental shifts can play a huge role in your journey to conquer procrastination. And once you've started, maintain that momentum. Establish routines, engage in continuous self-reflection, and seek support when needed. Turn your later into now. Start implementing these techniques today and see the difference in your life. Don't forget to subscribe to Minecrafters for more tips on personal development and productivity.